All right, guys, so my apologies here. This is not the intro that I had planned for. Um, <clears throat> the intro that I had for this video sucks. It was stupid. I was exhausted. Uh, I was cur I was in Iowa at the time. This was like two months ago uh, or longer that I did this. And uh, I hope you guys can kind of see the weight loss that has happened uh, to me in my face from that first job to like my fourth job. Um, well, the first job we did there, I'm still with the company. Obviously, we're on our fourth, we're on our fourth, soon to be fifth job. So, I just want you guys to kind of, you know, appreciate the way your boy looks now. I mean, I look good. I think I'm feeling myself. Mm-hmm. Yes. Anyway, I bought some Yu-Gi-Oh cards while I was up in Iowa. It was a old country store that was up there, and they didn't have the crime rate that they do here in like the cities and stuff like that. So, cards were on the shelf. Didn't have very much Pokemon. They had a good stock of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I ended up thinking I ended up buying like 20 plus booster packs while I was up there, and I haven't stopped. We're two months past this, and I have like eight videos, like four or five videos, I mean, and I got a buttload more to make. So I hope you guys enjoy this while I have this little rat tail of a hair piece sticking out, and uh, yeah, enjoy. But here are the purchases from Wally World. Now, Indiana, no Pokemon cards, no Yu-Gi-Oh, it's all gone. But, here in Iowa, that's not the case. Now, it is the case for the Pokemon. They only had two containers. They were Sword and, they were, uh, sword and Shield. Not really my kind of cards. And they were like five bucks a piece. So, I ended up spending like $61 on all this. I bought a fan. I bought supplies for the house. I bought the food. And I bought these. And a new sweatshirt because we spent five hours in a freezing truck last night going through and checking inventory stock while it was 28 degrees out. And I was wearing exactly what I'm wearing now. So anyway, right here, for the second time, I am doing the Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel. Now bear in mind, there's only four cards in each pack. I paid $2 for this. Uh, these guys are extremely cheap. They're on rollback. And you can get... Uh, a ultimate blue eyes white dragon and I can't read the other two I recognize them, but I can't read them so we're gonna go ahead open this one up and go from there now we have another speed duel this one was nine dollars like I said it was expensive buy but it's one I saw on Amazon that I really wanted and it's these guys if you have no idea who these are these are a dinosaur this dude does dinosaur Hugo cards this dude does bug Pokemons um, I had a good collection of his cards when I was younger so in this video we're gonna be opening up the speed duel pack which looks absolutely pretty cool actually I think it looks nice and the fact that it's you know a two dollar pack of cards you know and you get three packs you know four cards each you're not you're not getting ten cards wait you're not getting ten cards in a pack like you normally would but it is what it is, and it's from 2014, so these are, these are fairly old. This is, you know, when this, you know, pack set came out. Now, I apologize if, uh, at any point during this time I speed up the video, because I feel like me rambling about these cards. It's gonna be kind of stupid. Now, there are three main ones you can find with this particular set. Uh, I opened a speed duel, uh, of Seto Kaiba. I have the footage, I'll post it here of me actually pulling Seto Kaiba, the very first pack. Um, the problem is though, the cards that are on the back, um, they have a different design completely. It's, it doesn't look like a Yu-Gi-Oh card at all. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to open all three packs straight out the gate and just set them in different locations as I do this because we're at six minutes. And I feel like if I sit here and open each pack and go through each individual card, we're not gonna have time. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the first one we touched. So straight out the gate, we have Violet Crystal. We have, ooh, Clown Zombie. That was one I definitely remembered as a kid. We have the Fusion Wave Matter. That one's actually neat looking. And we have Limit Impulse. Now, some of these cards I don't recognize, but Zombie Clown was definitely 
definitely on my top five when I was a kid. Now these cards are warped, which sucks. But straight out the gate on this side, we have Zombie Tiger. And I actually had a good zombie collection when I was a kid. We have White Elephant Gift, which is an elephant bone. Looks amazing. We have Jack's Knight. Ooh, that one's a nice looking one. Check that out. And we have Twister. And that's a holographic. So that one is really cool. So we're going to go ahead and set this one off to the side. And we're going to jump into this Giant Mammoth Goldfine. Like giant Mammoth of Goldfine. Cool little card. We have Block Attack, which was such a sneaky little thing to use when we were younger as kids playing. Uh, Magicians Unite. I don't remember having that card. And the Snake Hair. And it's Medusa. So We didn't pull anything crazy. We didn't really pull anything, in my opinion, what I would be cool other than the fact that I do recognize Zombie Clown. I never had Zombie Tiger, so that's definitely a new one. And of course the holographic is going to be But oh, regardless of that, let's get in here. So we're at eight minutes. I'm going right, to go so ahead and open up yeah, this booster box. I remember being a kid, these boxes are hard to get into now. This is going to have, it said two base packs, two, uh... This guy, what are you? Goblin zombie. Okay, so it's got two decks. Two decks, 60 common cards, two ultra rares, uh, four card skill cards, and one double-sided deluxe game mat, which is going to have some dinosaur and a moth on it, so... I'm going to go ahead and bust that out. I'm not really honestly interested in it but if i'm not mistaken these might be the decks that they actually used in the game so if that's the case i'm about to have a serious bug and dinosaur deck <sighs> all right so this just is the rules and what you can do and then here is the other side i think it looks nice i do but <sighs> yeah check that out that's freaking cool i don't recognize the moth looking like that when i was a kid but we're going to go ahead, I mean, for nine bucks, you get two base packs that makes 60 cards in each. That makes 120 cards for nine dollars, but good lord. Oh yeah, these are real. Oh, my childhood. Wow, wow, wow. I'm trying to be gentle. I have no idea how I'm going to transport these back to my house when I'm done with all of this, so. Whoa, dude. So this is actually like some neat little promo card. That is pretty cool. So we have Order of the Charge, which is holographic. It's cool. We have Dinosaur Kingdom. We have Nightmare Sonic Blast, which is actually one of the uh, cards you would get out of the normal speed duel. We have Serpent Night Dragon. And I'm going to speed this part up. Two Head Re King Rex. We have two... Yerby? Yerby? I remember these guys as a kid. I didn't really like them. Crawler Crawling Dragon 2. Uh... Tomosaurus. This is all dinosaur stuff, so it's amazing. Uh, Anthrosaurus. Black Tyrosaurus. Tyrannosaurus, my bad. Super Ancient Dino Beast, which looks pretty cool. This is not a dinosaur. Mad Sword Beast. It's a freaking rhino, so that's confusing. Um, bear in mind, these cards can very well be worth money. Uh, Giliosaur. Gale Lizard. Dark Dracotops. I think I read that wrong. Uh, Hyper Hammerhead. Elephant source. Element source. Black Stego. I have that one. Gentle Mander. Nice lava. That's cute. Uh, Rise Body Heat. Ultra Evolution Pill. Space Time Transference. Cast Down. Summoner's Art. White Elephant Gift again. Heat Wave. Uh, two Card Advice. Hunting Instinct. Uh, reinforcements. Various treasure. And once again, one minute impulse. So that is the dino deck. It looks good. Um, definitely seeing a lot from when I was a kid that I never knew were actually part of, uh, you know, a, a deck in the, in the show. You know, I never really paid attention that much when I was a kid to Yu Gi Oh! I played it, I collected the cards, I had a, I had a blast with it. But now as an adult, you know, I can sit back and appreciate it a lot more because it, it had a lot going for it back then. It really did. So. These cards are very well in here. I wish I would have had a knife with me or something. I do have a knife. I just don't know where it's at because it's on the dresser stand. It's it's somewhere in the room. It help if I was pulling on the right side. Huh? There we go. All right, we're in. All right. So now we have the stink bucket. 
can't remember what his name is. Uh, we have a hollow jar of Everest. Cool looking. We have hyper metamorphosis. We also have another two. And this is what I'm saying. You see the back of the card? We have hidden parasite. That is, that is cool. Here we have perfectly ultimate great moth, which was one of my favorites back then. Uh, just the great moth, not the perfect ultimate. We have PD moth, which is cool. We have big insect. We have basic insect, which is one I had quite a few of these. Wing cleaver. Kumodako. I used to have that card. Alien section. Oh, here we go. I wish it was hollow. Mine used to be hollow. Insect queen. Yes. Yes, that one's being self-sign. Cocoon of evolution. Man-eating bug. I had this guy. We have pitch hopper. Insect princess. We have two. Go Kippen. I don't know about that guy. B last soldier. B tron. Laser cannon armor. We're into the traps of magic now. We have forest. We have, uh... Verdant Sanctuary. Beautiful. We have Insect Neglect. We have Worm Bait. We have Exchanging Fitting Room, which is a weird one. We have Dark Factory of Mass Production. I had that one and the other one. Uh, Amulet of Ambition. Once again, a white elephant gift, so I'm not going to show that one again. Uh, we have Eradicating Aerosol. We have Spider Egg, which I never had. And we have, dude, one of the coolest, like, battle cards. Corrosive Scales. Corrosive Scales. Look at that. Look at that one. It's going to be the coolest magic card I've ever seen. We have uh, Adhesion Trap Hole. And we have Order to Smash. And there you go, guys. This is like, what, a 16-minute video I have to edit down now? So, with that being said, guys, I had a blast opening these. This is definitely a walk down memory lane. The fact that we got, you know, two of, you know, this guy and one of the other, it, it's insane. Now, the Seto Kaiba one that I have is holographic. It looks nice. It's not worth really anything. It's like three bucks, so it's not a big deal. But I will be going through this, checking out the cards that I know, you know, from when I was a kid that would be worth something like Insect Queen, Cocoon of Evolution, and things like that, and see if there's any real market for that. Just, I've never seen Jar of uh, Everest, though. That's a new one for me, so I'm going to clean up my mess. I'm actually going to go to bed anyway. It's only like 11.30. I wouldn't even say that. I'd say it's like 10 o'clock at best. And so, 17 minutes into the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Later.